So before we get off track, I am dying to ask you a question, fucking dying. What do you think of Donald Trump, his, uh, his speeches and his candidacy as president for president of the United States of America? Well, um, my honest feeling is that what he said was kind of right on, but I don't think he has a chance in hell on winning. Yeah, but you know who he reminds me of? Ross Perot. Well, you're right, Frank. And but let me remember Ross Perot made you know started off and and people were listening to him and you know he was making sense and he was making some great stuff and, and, he, and then he started saying some he, fucking psychotic and paranoid and delusional comments, right? Right. But he split the Republican Party and Clinton won. And that, yeah, but what, I, what I'm trying to tell you is... Now, wait a minute, I'll, let me... Uh, cause I, you know, I, I, I watched one of his speeches uh, the other day on, on social, social media, right? And I don't fucking go on. I has no fucking grasp on reality. You cannot, you cannot, in the United States of America, a multicultural country, start pointing out ethnic groups if you're going to run for the president of the United States. Frankie, you can talk about border control. Frank, you could talk about immigration, but you do not point out ethnic groups and blame them for the miseries. Are you through? Can I say something now? Sure. Well, I had to go through the process to become an American citizen. I went through the legal process just like my father, my grandfather did when he came to the country and went to Canada, they go through the legal process. Everybody has to. Why do you let illegals who come been deported five, six, seven times come back into the fucking country and kill people? Well, I agree, I, I agree that that shouldn't happen. It's happened in Canada. But what I'm saying to you is you well, why would you have an entire race city like for a percentage? Please. I, I, look, you know what? I, I wouldn't. I won't, I'm not going to vote for Trump. I won't. I like Donald. Donald's a friend of mine. I know him very well. I've been around him. He's he's wild. He's crazy. He says what the fuck he thinks, and he doesn't think what he says. You understand? Exactly. And that's my point. And to be a president of the United States, you need to be a father of a country. You need to understand the pulse. And Barack Obama, he conned me. When when he was I didn't vote because I'm not an American citizen and and but as as a human being as as a participant in in the North American economy he captivated me when he when when he started you know his his uh, his run and I've got to be straight with you Phil I was a, a fan of Bill Clinton. I didn't think Bill Clinton did a bad job at all. So what? He got a blowjob. Yeah, that's what I love about you. So always tell the truth. If I was married to her, I'd be getting blowjobs in the White House, too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and we're live. There you go. <laughs> I'll give a I, shit. I'm just saying I'm over you all of this. That, uh, that I'm over it. Donald Trump, who says that he hires people to do jobs, and he hires the best, somebody should fucking put duct tape on his mouth. Well, listen. Yeah, his speech yesterday says that Money. the federal government of the United States of America is incompetent. It is. No. no, but hear me out. So he says, I hire people to do a job, and I let them do their job. Well, somebody should fucking shut you up then, if you're trying to run for president. Because he's saying stupid things. Because he, 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 You he, cannot be president if you're offending your own children. But it's still a free country, and if you want to make it... Yeah, I agree, I agree, I agree, but he's, 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 not, he's doing... But he's, he's going to do exactly what you said, Phil. He's going to split up the Republican Party. He might. He, if he runs as a third-party candidate, absolutely he will. No, but I think you're bang on, Phil, and, and I think... a year and a half away. away. I, I, I think he's going to give his... throw whatever support he gets to the, the candidate, and he knows he's not going to win... He's not going to win to become president of the United States. Um, I think he's doing it to, to split the vote and, and go to sure. whoever he's going to jump me on the bandwagon with. Okay. I, I believe he's doing it. He is the shill. He is the guy that's going out there and saying all these outrageous things, 
And down the road, after two or three of those those uh, meeting, not the meetings, the press conferences they're going to have, whatever the debates they're going to have, yeah, he's going to bow out. He's going to bow out. I, I agree with you, and I think that he's. I think this is very calculated. I think that he's already got a candidate. He's going to jump behind, right? I agree with, with support. And it's not going to be Jeb Bush. I can tell you that. Oh, he hates Jeb Bush's guts, and I, Jeb Bush hates his guts. Well, that's right because. And and, and I think that the, the last statement that he said Jeb Bush has to like Hispanics. He's married to one. <laughs> I don't think that put. Him in, in, in Jeb Bush's books. No, I, I I don't either. I don't know. No, you're still a year and a half away. A year and a half away. It, it, uh, this is going on already. So somebody's got to be the character, and he's bringing out immigration more than anything because this immigration thing has to be settled one way or another. It has to be. 